the folks at the Denver Zoo love animals and they love people, just separated when necessary. So photojournalist Brian Wendley went to the zoo today to learn more about how they're trying to keep people, mountain goats, and bighorn sheep away from each other on Mount Blue Sky. At the Denver Zoo, human mountain goat interactions are kept to a safe distance. Because I'm always interested in human wildlife conflict stories. Heather Valley says in the wild, though, she's seen people get way too close. It was just a false charge, but it was pretty scary to watch. She was photographing goats on Mount Blue Sky for a research project with the Denver Zoo Conservation Alliance, and a couple of folks demonstrated the danger that project is trying to reduce. I see things like that up there a lot, and it's just, you're just kind of biting your nails like, oh. She's the public facing side of this research, capturing photos to inspire and educate. Photography is, is a really powerful way to, to tell those stories, much more so than, you know, writing a document or something, um, or putting up a sign that most people aren't gonna read. Stefan Eckernes and his team work behind the scenes to figure out ways to limit these interactions. And not just with people, but with bighorn sheep, too. Bighorn sheep are really susceptible to pneumonia, um, specifically caused by a bacteria called mycoplasma. Um, and that um, mycoplasma, essentially, mountain goats carry it. Both animals are drawn to parking lots and trailheads where people congregate and leave behind minerals lacking in the high alpine soils. When you're putting bighorn sheep, mountain goats, you know, licking cars and in the parking lot, um, closely bunched together, we're, we're potentially creating super spreader events. With the road to the top of Mount Blue Sky closed for construction for a year, Ekernos and his team will have a long time to try out more ways to keep these ungulates away from each other. The tricky part is they're doing fine right now. Just because it's doing great right now doesn't mean that we don't need to get ahead of it. We do need to be proactive. One thing they already know, though, is how to keep people safe when the road opens back up. It's an easy thing, you know, they can learn about these animals and not get so close to them and not try to feed them and not try to take selfies with them. For next, I'm Brian Wendland. Researchers say they tried spreading mountain lion urine near the parking lot to frighten the ungulates into staying away. It's a hoofed mammal. Initial results apparently were promising, but the, the mountain lion urine was not a silver bullet.